power! It's about a four second zero to 60. Yeah, someone there in that neighborhood. Today, I am underdressed, underemployed, and underqualified. Why is be, that? To be driving this. 2019 uh -oh. Audi A5 Quattro. This thing's a beast. To be driving this car, you either have to be a surgeon, a sports player, or somebody other than you and I. Yes, for sure. But uh, with a price of, of 47, I think is what this one's going for. It is the cheapest sedan you can buy and have fun. And have an immense amount of luxury. And I will explain to you why later on. It will all make sense. Look at these rims. Barely option car. We got the smallest rims you can get on it. They're only 18 inches. But they look okay. They do. They look really good for 18 inch rims. I love the back of this. It's the sport back, which makes it awesome. The dual exhaust. It's just beautiful. Fantastic. The paint has been kissed by unicorn dust. Is that what it has been? It has been. I am not a huge chrome trim guy. But it looks great on this, this car. Trim. Look at this car, especially the hood. The hood is my favorite. 2019, they made some gigantic upgrades. Let's go look at the hood. Like you can see there's some creases and whatnot in it now as right there and there that. And then you got the creases on the, on the side, this whole shoulder shape here. It's just beautiful. Next favorite thing, door handles. What are they doing? Take a look at this. <gasps> they like, lift up. Like a Porsche. Yep, just like a Porsche. And then because we have a frameless window, it goes up and down. Up and down. No wind noise, because it's an Audi. Yep. I am a huge Audi fan. I love Audis. Huge, huge Audi fan. I just can't get over how beautiful this car is. Huge. Huge trunk. trunk. And you can flip down the seats and you got even more room here. I don't know if I can do it from over here. I don't know where you have to do it from. Watch this. All right. Just stay with me. Look at that. Look at how much It's almost there is. a bed. This thing's fantastic. Love every every aspect of the outside. It is awesome. All right, should we go on the inside? I like that this looks like it has a button. Watch this. How smooth like butter. That is awesome. Warm butter. I like it. Butter with canola oil. Yep. All right. This thing sounds like a beast. It sounds better than my GTI, and it has a two liter engine also. It's fantastic. Man, I love Audis. I love them too. The interior of this is like, it's like no other brand. It's straight baller. It is, I, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm completely underdressed. I just feel like this is a place that you sit when you've made it and you have the cars like this. It's a wonderful luxury car. It's it's fantastic. Just everything on the inside looks so amazing. And let's not forget that this is basically the base model. This is, I do believe, the base model. You have leather, leather seats. Yep. Fantastic. You do not have a ton of options on this inside here. No, but but it's enough options to make it special. Yeah, it you don't really need the options because it just feels so mature and classy. You know what it's like? It's like a good bowl of cereal. Is that what it's like? It's got everything you need and nothing that you don't. All right, I get that analogy. You got the bowl, you got the spoon, you got the delicious cereal, 
And a little bit of milk. And a little bit of milk. It's the perfect combination. All right. I can see that. What's the bull on this car? That's a dumb question. All right. <laughs> I love the wood trimming. I like the vents. I think this is this is funny to me. I don't know if you guys can see, but this one doesn't have air vents in it. It just is the same it's as just these. Aesthetics, which yep. is cool. Uh, I know on A6s and, and other Audis, the infotainment screen folds into the dash, which is cool. I do like it on here. Why don't you turn it on for them? And it's with a click of a button, it turns on. So from here, you got a couple options. So we got the telephone option here, Audi Connect, which this doesn't have on it right now. Uh, media, we don't have a telephone hooked up or a media device, so we can't use that. We have radio, we have sound, you can adjust that, and then vehicle. If you go into vehicle, you can see the different driving selection modes, which are comfort, auto, and dynamic. I don't know why you would drive it in anything other than dynamic. Dynamic's the way to go. But it's pretty nice having the availability to be able to switch driving modes, in my opinion. I think it's fantastic. And then we won't do it here because we'll get in trouble for copyright issues, but you can have the radio on and still turn off the screen. Which so is awesome. A black screen, so it works out really good when it's dark outside. And you just want to listen to your music, but you're driving and let's say you're on a road trip and the people in the car are trying to sleep. That's a big bright navigation screen, but if you're the driving, you would like a little bit of music. Now, there are some cars out there that I could do forever without a radio. This is not one. It has a two liter engine. It's got a turbo. It it's, sounds good, but it's not a symphony. Right, it's got a lot of power for what it is, but it's not a Ferrari or something where you're listening for the engine all day long. So you do need that infotainment. You what can, do you have for horsepower? Uh, you have 248 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. You're telling me that this is under 250 horsepower? You know, Audi is good at making that 248 do every inch of 248. I think it's the torques. We talk about the torques a lot. I think so too. I think it is a lot of torque because you're not using the horsepower until you get going real fast. You don't so, like my torques? Just throw it in there one time. Torques. There you go. Sweet. It does sound weird when you say it, but probably not when I say it. Yeah, I don't think it sounds weird when you say it. <laughs> oh, I just love this thing. You got the paddle shifters if you want. Which are fun. Which are fun. What I have noticed, and I'll show you guys when we do stop, it is somewhat hard to get it out of drive and into neutral, into park, back into drive, out of neutral. I think it just takes mode. a little bit of... A little bit of experience. Yes. But how much experience do you really need to do this? I don't think much. I don't think you need much. I, I mean, think you just need to have a little bit of fun. This car is fantastic. I love the gauges, how they are driver focused. I like that too. I I like analog gauges, which this one has because it's not a optioned out spec. Optioned out ones will have more uh, driver aids, like a full digital dashboard. I forget the price again. How much is this? 47,000. 47,000. So this car, you can probably make it up to 60, 70,000 dollars. Yeah. With the options, I wouldn't. I wouldn't either. I like it the way it is. I would say for 47 grand, I know you can buy a lot of other sedans for that, but you cannot buy this kind of a car. You cannot buy this engineering. No, no, not at all. Uh, the only thing that I would like after hearing it personally is the Bang & Olufsen stereo. But that is a lot of cash for a stereo to put into your car. Which And, and really, we, we, we like music. I love music. But what we really enjoy is the emotion of driving that a car gives you. Yes. This doesn't have quite the symphony as, uh, as other vehicles may have, but it's good. It's good. And it just, it's something about driving this. I think the combination of the exterior and the interior, specifically of this A5, 
I believe that is exactly what Beethoven would have created if he was Sorry, I had to get up to the speed limit. Oh, that was, that was, uh, where was I? I completely forgot. Beethoven. Beethoven. I was talking about Beethoven. This is the exact car that Beethoven would have penned had he been a car designer and not a, not a, um, musician. Musician. I think today. You know what he would have called it? What would he call it? He wouldn't have the first, the second, the third, the fourth symphonies. It's just the symphony. <laughs> this is the symphony. No need to do a two, a three, a four. This is it. I Home think, run. I think if he was alive today and was a musician, you know what he would drive? This. I agree. And there's nobody com to complain. And you can't say we're wrong. So we're right. Yep. This thing is the bomb. I love it. Absolutely love it. I would say out of all the cars that we have reviewed, this is... Very high on the list. Very, sure. very high. I don't know what else I can say about it besides it's absolutely fantastic. I like the seats. We'll give it a little bit more in-depth, close look. In a, at, in a little bit. In a little bit. I was going to say that. I like the seating position. You have, I don't know how many way seats, enough ways to get you confused. Enough ways to where you could probably end up sitting backwards. Which would be a bad way. It would be. It'd be comfortable. It probably would be. <laughs> It'd be a bad way. Speaking of comfort, these seats are very comfortable. Yeah, these are just the standard Audi seats, but they are. They have enough bolster. They have enough to where it feels like it's you're in the seat, but then they have enough plush and suppleness to feel like you're cocooned in the seat base model i know we're talking forty seven thousand dollars for a base model but base model you get memory seats two position memory seats oh that's awesome husband wife two butts one seat hit a button it goes to where you want to go that's perfect it literally is perfect i like it i really like this touch too you had mentioned that earlier yeah, so I'll pull it out so you guys can see it. So if you look, this is like a glossy black finish with a chromed uh, it's little... It's the little touches. It's great. And it, uh, it just, most cars, it's the same exact texture and color as the rest of the plastic around that spot. But this one, they changed it to make it look... It's the little touches that make it feel classy is what it is. The most important button... I know you're not going to agree because there are some other buttons if you really think about it that are more important than this button. Like the on off button? Don't ruin my surprise. This button right here is my favorite button. I mean, I meant the not on, that way. I meant the engine start but stop that's my button favorite way. as the most important button. That is the most important button. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm all confused. I don't even know what you're trying to talk about. I don't know anymore either. <laughs> I think we can we can both agree that the interior of this is to die for. How does the steering wheel feel when you grab it? Is it meaty enough? Is it too thin? It is. It, it, it's very comfortable, about the perfect diameter, and connecting to the road, you can really feel it. We are currently in park, correct? Yep. As can be seen by the red park. To get out of park, you have to hit the side button and go down. And then you put it into drive. Straight forward, you're in drive, right? To get in a neutral now, you can't just push up, button, neutral. You can't just push up to reverse, button to reverse. Then you got the backup camera, perfect. That's a little quirky. How do you get it back into park? Back into neutral right there, back in drive. You don't have to hit the button. Going up, neutral and reverse, you have to hit the side button to get it up. To go down, you just click down. To get it back in neutral, See? That's... Hit the button, neutral. Park, there you're in park. That's really quirky. It is quirky. It's something that is going to take you a day or two to get used to. But if you go further up in here, this is your dial for your infotainment center. These are like menu buttons going back and forward into different menus. Your main menu, going back to the last one, 
click up to go to the radio. And then you got your volume. Then you got your media there. If you got your telephone connected, navigation and map, okay? Here's your presets. Further up here, you got your start stop button. Like the push button start. That's awesome. You got your one USB cable, that's all you need. We've discussed it, this at length. You can get an option to get more, but you only need one. 12 volt volt. You got your drive select, up and down. So if you look, that it feeds up right up here. Dynamic, auto, comfort, individual. And the individual you can customize to your own, so you can change the, like the, how much uh, input there is. Yeah, on everything. So back down to here, then you got our favorite button, the auto start stop button. Always turn that off. After you turn the car on, you hit that button. Yep. It's kind of the sequence, it's yep. like a jet fighter. Traction control, you got a couple other buttons that would be here for... If it was optioned out. Optioned out, yep. Then you got your screen off, turn it off. Remember, your infotainment still works. Just turning the screen off. Then you come up here, you got your heated seats. That's nice. Super nice. You got all the rest of your HVAC controls. You click this to turn on auto and turn it off and then you can control the fan. This steering wheel, the steering wheel feels really nice. It's really the perfect size. And then you have your normal buttons like any modern steering wheel has. And they have this beautiful instrument cluster that gives you all of the information that you'd ever want. It's got a lot of information. I love though the analog dials. I know I said it earlier, but now you guys can see it up close. I like analog. I guess I'm old fashioned even though I'm young, but I prefer to see that for the dials, I like the digital in the middle, but I like the analog dials. And I agree. So now going further to the driver's side, you have your light controls. And then as I said on the door, here's where your presets are for your seating position. Lock, unlock, like normal. There's your windows and your mirror adjustments. Look at the shape of that mirror. I mean, it is just amazing what they have done with this interior. And I will say something, we were wrong. Uh, we said there was one USB port. I opened up the little cubby to show you the aux port and there's also a USB port in there. So, so you, you got two you, you got two. So and I'm gonna jump out. Do you wanna show them this seat nicely? Yes. So if you see, it's got the stitching down the sides right there. And then it's got the same stitching on the bottom. It's super soft comfy a nice headrest it's all just perfectly soft it's you know what you need what do you need you need a, a small butler for this so like for an a8 you need a regular size butler but for an a5 why do you need a small one well because it's a little bit smaller car what's the butler doing well they have to open your doors this isn't a car that you can drive dirty oh. it has to be clean at all times that's so that makes sense you need somebody to wash your car for you to open your doors hand you your latte whatever people in in audi's drive because this thing is amazing so if i bring you on a tour of the back seats it looks very similar as to the front seats they're pretty standard back seats it is a little bit smaller. I was sitting a little bit far back. You were. But if I'm in here, my feet are touching the back. So you're gonna want smaller children in the back. You're not gonna take your executives out to lunch in this. They're just gonna look at it from the outside and be amazed and wonder what stocks you're investing in. I like the Quattro badging right here. I think that's cool, right? It's just another quirk that I like. And then you have a decent sunroof. You can get a panoramic roof as an option in this car, but this does not have it, but this is still a big sunroof. It's pretty much the interior. The leather is nice and comfortable. It is awesome. I'm having a really hard time. What is it? Sad to say our time has come. Has come. We gotta return it we have to return it but 
I have been so happy for the past half an hour. It's been a wonderful driving experience. It's a wonderful car. Go find $47,000 and buy yourself an A5. This thing for is sure. just fantastic. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure to click the like button, the subscribe button, if you want to see more of us. And we'll see you soon. Awkward five.